concept of a software-defined perimeter and why it's so revolutionary to the security of organizational networks in our last video, we'll now dive in a little deeper and see how safety's unique technology is used to achieve SDP like no other. We start by looking at the perimeter of the organizational network and examining the internet footprint. That is, every single entry point that has an open port and we close it by blocking all inbound traffic. This way, the organization becomes seemingly offline, completely invisible and inaccessible to anyone over the public internet. When users need to get access to an application, a resource, or a service, instead of just connecting directly to an exposed organization, they open a web browser and go to the address for the Safety Authentication Gateway. The Safety Authentication Gateway is not consumed as a service, but rather it's a virtual software appliance that the customer owns and can be deployed anywhere. The only requirement is that it's deployed in a location that's completely disconnected from the organization and any sensitive data. For example, a public instance on AWS or Azure. The authentication gateway does not need any connectivity to the private network and does not control or store any user information. Users are then presented with an authentication page. It can be as simple as username and password or as elaborate as multi-factor authentication. However, as mentioned before, the authentication gateway doesn't contain any data and is not connected to the private network. Therefore, it can't really authenticate, it only collects the user input. The second piece of the safety solution is the safety access controller, which is also a virtual appliance and is deployed on the back end of the organizational network behind a completely closed firewall. Access controller utilizes safety's patented technology called reverse access to initiate an outbound connection to the same public authentication gateway and immediately picks up the user input and securely pulls it inside. It then performs the authentication and authorization internally and privately, interfacing with the organization's user repository such as Active Directory, Duo, or Okta. At that point, Access Controller knows four things about the user. Number one is the who, who the user is. Number two is the what, what application, service, or resource out of those authorized the user wishes to access. Number three is where. Is the user home, working from Starbucks? What is the source IP address? And finally, number four is the when. When should access be granted? Presumably in the, say, 60 seconds following a successful authentication attempt. Then, Access Controller, once again utilizing reverse access and an outbound connection, reaches out to the third and final piece of the solution, the Safety Access Gateway, which resides on the Internet-Facing Network Segment, or DMZ. While until now every inbound network packet has been dropped, it instructs it to now open a port and start accepting inbound traffic towards that specific destination. But unlike a traditional open port, which would be open to everyone, this one opens specifically for that user for a short window of time, making the organization visible to that user only, while completely hidden and offline to the rest of the world. The user can now seamlessly connect to the organization, and once the connection is established, it remains active, but the port closes again. As you can see, Safety's SDP solution is completely non-intrusive. It doesn't require clients, agents, or any changes to application servers, resources, or endpoints. It can be deployed within hours and supports any type of resource. Unlike other solutions, such as VPNs, it creates a one-to-one -one connection between a user and an application instead of bringing a user into your private network. By doing so, it also prevents lateral movement. Safety's SDP dramatically increases security while reducing the operational complexity and making sure that the entire organization, including potential unknown vulnerabilities, are completely masked from the world, except for legitimate pre-authenticated users. I invite you to start your journey today with Safety's Software Defined Perimeter Solution. Thank you for watching.